but Microsoft is in the news um, for two reasons. Uh, the first one is, and uh, I'll go with the uh, report that, um, you know, allegedly, and this could be, you know, misleading from, from Microsoft's end, but uh, they're saying that uh, due to Game Pass, they have seen a, uh, uh, I guess, a, a reduction on game on overall game sales for the Xbox platform. And, you know, this could be uh, a, hey, you know, this is why we need to be to, to buy Activision. This could be one of those things. Right. Uh, but at the same time. Right. It's telling, and uh, yeah, I totally believe it. Like, I don't think, like, I don't think people are are pre-ordering Xbox games in droves anymore. Like, I think people are just hanging on to their, you know, uh, their Game Pass and and waiting for those things to drop instead of just going out buying the game and supporting uh, the studios. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty interesting that, you know, it got out there and they're, they're like admitting uh, they, for some reason, Joel, they have not released numbers again. Oh, it's wow. It's been a while. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because PlayStation came out and they said that it's like, oh, yeah, we sold like 36 and a half million or whatever. <laughs> um, by the way, the PS5 outselling the Switch in Japan for the last three weeks. Wow. Yeah. So it's there catching, you go. It's catching on. Um, yeah, I, we talked about the switch already where, you know, it's already reached, you know, market saturation. And, and we talked about it a couple of weeks ago when you know, it was, I think it was last episode or two episodes ago. Yeah. Um, you know, on, you know, unless they release like a brand new piece of hardware, that's going to be the case. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, this thing like Xbox is still like two thirty or two forty, like two thirty nine everywhere for the series yeah. S. Uh, and I think that's going to be the price, which would be crazy because it would be the the first console since, you know, the Xbox One to have a price drop because Switch hasn't dropped. The, uh, you know, PS5 never dropped. The, P- the PS4 Pro never dropped price. Mm. It, was, it was always $499, um, you know, uh, or $399. Or $3, yeah, $399. Um, and, you know, it's interesting. Uh, and it's kind of telling. Uh, I I don't know I don't know how that division is doing, man. And then you know Microsoft uh, cutting departments and restructuring and doing whatever they're doing, right? Um, I don't know. I I think that something something's not right. And it's one of those again when I and, and I hate to bring it up, and I know that you know the fanboys may get you know, mad at it. It's like, oh, because they can. It's like, they're kind of like trying to buy their way to the top. But at the same time, it's like, what, you know, what are they doing? <laughs> like, hey, Microsoft, what are you doing? I'm going to create a video for you. An intro, Microsoft, what are you doing? Like we did for WB. Got so it. been fumbling this thing around, but what do you think, man? Yeah, it's so ironic um, that you, you threw us in the notes when you did, because today I had a discussion impromptu, um, there I am uh, getting my hair a haircut at the barber shop after work today, and um, literally one of the guys, because he knows that you know I like to play games, he likes to play games, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, I was talking the other day with my buddy about um, Game Pass, and he's like, I don't know how like oh, we were talking like subscriptions as a service, different companies, and then he was like, I don't know how like Xbox does it. He's like, it's like seventy bucks to buy a game outright." But then if I do Game Pass, it's like 120 bucks for the whole year. He's like, there, you know, I just you do that and I just wait. He's like, I'm saving myself tons of 700 bucks in theory if I buy just 10 games in the year or whatever, you know. And um, I was like, yeah, it's true, you know. But he's like, the the the, the manufacturers, like the ones that are actually developing these things, like the publishers, they must be losing so much money on this. I'm like, yeah, they have to be. Well, uh, you know, this is where, you know, that this information is coming about and, and going around. It totally, um, it totally makes sense for Microsoft, but it's just unfortunate because they're not doing anything to benefit the people who are actually making games, and that's where like 
it's it's a little give and take. I don't know what the change from the modeling is because I do like the idea. I actually really like Game Pass from the idea of of what it offers. I think like that almost like Netflix style type thing um, could be really valuable. But from a fiscal standpoint, it is a little worrying because you know. Huh, something like this you know could affect future quality of games and even the the quantity of games and and um relationships with these these devs like you said obed if your only way to to fill the catalog is to buy out you know an entire publisher hey let's go buy activision so that way we don't have to worry about these kinds of yeah. you know issues with them that's that's worrisome for me no totally totally um yeah it's they they I, I don't know, I, I, and, and we've said it. I think the Xbox Series X is a really good, product. amazing, it's yeah. a you know good, really good device, and you know I think Game Pass is a great service. But at the same time, yeah, you need to. That's you know the, the that's a great analogy, right? It's like why why pay seven hundred when I can have all this for one twenty, right? Right. So I, I don't know, and you know they the. the wasn't Phil Spencer say the other day or a few weeks ago that like they they you know Game Pass reached saturation where there's like there there's been a, a significant slowdown on people signing up. So yeah. it's yeah, I mean I, I mean granted they do have the PC version right, and it's like people that don't have uh, an Xbox can have uh, the service. I mean it's a lesser product on PC, mind you, but you know right uh, the the. The, they, there's still a PC option for it. Uh, I don't know. And uh, this one you can take with a grain of salt, but there was an article today um, published in, ga in, uh, in GamingBible.com that, that Xbox is considering facing out completely first-party fiscal releases and going all digital on those. Um apparently this is a this is gonna be a uh it's it's already set to go in effect in some regions i think uh like south america if i'm not wrong uh let me double check uh, i want to make sure that i'm giving you guys the right info here uh i'm almost certain it was like brazil or something um but yeah i mean it's it's a it's a rumor that they're, you know, the that they're that they're planning to go all digital with their um with their first party releases. So uh yeah, uh Brazil. So that's yeah. uh that's the they already basically confirmed that they're they're not producing uh physical like first party titles. So yeah, man. I mean, grant they have a console that doesn't have a disk drive and I mean so those PlayStation, but Play PlayStation they don't yeah, they don't they don't they don't do that. I, granted, you can get like God of War without the game, like the collector's edition, without the game, and you can buy the game separate uh, if you have the digital version. So, um, yeah, it, it's just that it's been a long time coming for Microsoft, right? Because they, they've been wanting to do this for since the Xbox One days, right? Remember, right? But it's like, hey, if you don't have a a internet connected device, you can buy an Xbox three sixty. Three sixty. So, man, it's hard to believe that's almost 10 years ago, man. I know. It's been 10 years since the, the yeah. reveal of the PS4. Jeez, Excuse. dude. We're old. <laughs> I'm you old. are. I'm, I'm Joel old. Young. Oh, you're Joel Young. Oh. I, I will always pull that card, sir. <laughs> oh, 10 you years are now, low, no load you, time. You Still going to be saying it. You always have the young card on you, sir. Right, it's that's right. Your, it's Literally. your ID. It's my it's name. Like... <laughs> oh my that's god, good. that's good. But yeah, but physical, like this whole thing, you and I, and I'll keep it brief. But like you know, you and I, I've said before, like it kind of seemed like the writing was on the wall with even just in general, like this is not even just like a Microsoft thing, like mm -hmm. just in general across all of gaming, like physical copies are not as popular as, as they once were. Most people are getting their stuff digital. So maybe it's a way of cost cutting as well, right? You have to ship out all yeah. these titles, all these places. But then I saw like the headlines being things like, well, you might just literally have a box that just has like a code in it. Like imagine going to a store.
for <laughs> just picking up a, an empty shell with a with a code to download. That's a little weird. Uh, I don't. At first, I also assumed it was like, is this a part of the whole like green initiative? Because I know like they did an update, which is pretty cool to like the you know the system where like you know, it was a low power <laughs> mode or whatever. But I'm like, uh, you're not really being more eco friendly if you're still putting out paper papers that have codes on them. It's still still killing some trees. But that uh, was yeah. just a theory. They didn't, and they didn't say that's why they're doing it. I think it's just more so. Um, uh, uh, an executive decision probably be based on some uh, data behind it to prove that's unnecessary. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I don't, I'm a physical copy person. Um, yeah, I like I, to get my stuff. I'm not saying I bought digital before. Um, so it, it, it would be hard for someone like me, but I, I can understand like things are changing. The world is shifting. Most people who have an Xbox, like we're saying, have Game Pass anyway, so they're streaming their stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the biggest thing, but it's a weird one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see where, where all this ends up for, for good old MS.